this is Salt Life Lady, and I decided to make a quick tutorial on in Photoshop on how I created a uh, person's family tree. And this could be applicable to you had like a TV series or something you wanted to put um, the parents and the children and whatever. And I have here a bunch of all these different layers, and you'd be able to cater these layers. But just to kind of show you just quickly how to navigate this, especially if you already have Photoshop, you should be able to just plug in whatever you want. So I'm going to grab um, photos that I obviously already downloaded and I'm going to place them. It's taken a little bit to load. I have this beautiful picture of some woman. No, she's not in my family. It'd be cool as she was. And let's say I'm going to have a picture of her because I'm going to put her and then her husband's kids or something, right? But first, um, I have the portrait of her and I'm going to find where I have this particular um, layer. So a good way to do that in case you're not familiar with Photoshop is you would turn on and off these eyes and that would tell you. So in this case, I had this one under an obviously labeled parents. So there is the parents. Let's expand this. And then we have the mom's year of birth. She's going to be the mom and then mom's name. So let's go ahead and drag. This is the mom layer right here. See, it's disappearing. Let's go ahead and grab this portrait and put it right over here next to it. And if I grab this and put it over here, we're going to try to, we're going to try to kind of um, size her up. I'm going to put this underneath the mom and control T or transform. I'm going to move this and try to line it up with her face. Okay. When I'm about happy, I'm going to end up creating a mask. So I'm going to hit enter to commit. And now I'm going to try to create that mask. So now what I'm going to end up trying to do is I have the portrait layer um, selected. And I'm going to grab this circular elliptical marquee here and I'm going to try to create it right over this white spot. The reason I have that is because it's easier. If you want to make a perfect circle, you're going to hold shift. Um, that's creating a perfect circle, but it's not perfect on here. So if you, uh, while you're holding shift, if you hold space bar and move that around, you can kind of tweak it. And then see now I have this pretty much selected here and now I can create that mask. So down here, you have a little mask tool and you're going to click yes. So now basically created that mask. It looks like there's nothing there. But if I were to, um, of course, grab this tool and then move this right above where the mom tool is, now look, I can see her face. So now she fits perfectly in there. So if you tried to move it around, let's see, like, like we're thinking your face looks a little too big. Maybe we want to uh, position it better. Um, whoops, I didn't need to do that. Let's put this back here. So let's we want to position it better. This little locking tool, if you click it, now look what happens. I can move her around and she's still behind that because the mask is there. So I'm going to control T that's the transform. And now I can make it so that she would fit better. And I could kind of see her face and her hair. I just kind of, and then there we would have her, she'd be the mom. Um, I don't know what the name is. We could just put her name, grab the text over here, this little text layer. And um, I'm just gonna, I'm thinking of really a random name. Right, middle name, um, Melanie, random. And then last name in a lot of genealogists, and I'm not a genealogist, but I would like to do a lot of this. Their last name is um, all caps. So I'm just gonna put a very common last name like um, uh, Gonzalez, right? So then there we go, that's her. Um, always keep the maiden name if they're married always keep the maiden name and then so we have Cynthia Melanie Gonzalez that's her that could be her birth date if not you're just gonna click on mom's year of birth she's still alive here she is so now you do the exact same thing if you want to add the dad to this so you can um, create it and this is even for, like I said you could do like serial um, serial Wow um, series for television series you wanted to add this up change the background all these layers are already here so you just always use that eye tool to go on and off I created this frame, this size over here, you can see it's 18 inches by 12 inches at 300 uh, PPI. Um, that's just because that's a stand, one of the standard sizes that you could um, print a frame. But again, if you just wanted to do, and I'll just show it again in case I lost for this and you wanna see how I do that, because I actually, I'm not a fan of the way I did that white one, I'd probably redo it anyways. But um, we go back to parents and let's say we wanted to create where the dad is. Um, so we're creating right around here. So I'm going to go ahead and place that in bed. Fine. And then right here, here's the guy. It always looks pixelated until you commit to it. I'm going to put him around right here. His face is still too big. But I know he's going to be right here. Okay. I'm going to move it around. Look at my layers. Put the dad in front and then kind of like 
position where his face would be. I'm going to create that mask, but before I do, I'm going to grab the circular. I'm going to hold shift so I have a perfect circle. And then I'm going to hold space to kind of fine tune that circle on the edges. Now I probably should zoom in and I didn't zoom in and that's probably most of the problem. But for the sake of just showing you this, what I wanted to do, I have the layer with the portrait selected. I'm going to mask it. He's going to disappear. I'm going to grab this tool right here. I'm going to move it above the man layer. There he is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unlink it. I unlinked it so now I can move his face around and then control T or edit transform can move his face. I'm actually not a fan of the way that came out. So I'm going to hold shift because I want to constrain the proportions. And there we go. So I have the dude. Enter. And basically you just keep doing that for all these people until you create your own family tree. Name it whatever you want. Change the background whatever you want. But I think it's pretty cool for personal reasons. You want to do that for your family. Print it for your family. Or let's say you wanted to do it for a television series. You're good to go. So hope this helped people out. Thought it was a little creative thing. Um, yeah. Bye.